Katina. Okay, we're now going to move on to the individual questions that we have for you. And Mr. Fitzhugh, we are going to begin with you because, as you know, physician assisted suicide is a controversial topic everywhere, but especially here in the South. And three years ago, as House Minority Leader, you proposed the Death with Dignity Bill. Two versions of the bill have failed to gain traction. But if you're elected governor, will you push for this legislation again? I did that. I did that because a, a great friend of mine, John J. Hooker, was, was, was very deathly ill, and uh, he asked me to, and I did. I had misgivings about that, but, but the more I talked, the more I learned about it, I think it has, it has some, something that we need to look at in Tennessee. Uh, so I have not done that since because I'm still studying that, uh, that. But that was the reason, that was the real reason that I did that because I respected that man and he had some good ideas. Uh, but it's something, uh, it's, it's those issues that we sometimes have to tackle in a state. And sometimes it's, um, it's what people want and I think we, we need to, to, to discuss those issues, have a full and fair discussion. That's one reason I think it helps when you have a Republican uh, legislature and a Democratic governor. You can have those discussions because it's balanced out. Right now, we don't have a chance to have some discussions because the Republicans are too busy arguing amongst themselves to get things done. So I think, I think, we could, I think it will help that issue so and others. So really quickly, yes or no, would you push for it if you were governor? I'm not ready to push for it because I need to get back into that subject and see where we are. That was three years ago. You're right about that. And as you know, we are in the Bible Belt. So moving forward, do you think that this is really a religious uh, decision or do you no, think it's a personal one? It's a personal quality of life decision. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Fitzhugh.